my intent last weekend when I set out to make the video that I posted was just to put together something giving general observations of changes in the right handling, right and handling of the Mercedes after swapping out wheels and tires prior to doing what I'm going to do next, which is probably putting HR springs on the car. Uh, I did, however, think to just talk a bit about it on the way back home. And while this is nothing technical, I think it gives a decent seat of the pants impression of my own particular perspectives might be of use to someone. So if you do fall into that audience of people that are considering such a change, uh, watch on. Uh, if nothing else, there's some pretty scenery. The roads around here look really nice these days. More coming soon. So some general observations on the handling since changing just the tires. Sorry, just the wheels and tires. Uh, if you've seen my other videos, you know I went with a 17 by 8 inch wheel and Continental, can't remember the brand, tires. Uh, I plan on doing something with the springs, lowering it a bit. I have not decided yet if I'm just going to cut the factory springs or to go with something like the uh, H&R's need to research it a bit more but I have seen a an, imp an improvement in just the feel of the car driving it uh, I'm taking these at a somewhat leisurely pace for people that are used to doing these back roads I think it seems a little faster if you're looking at it uh, the camera you're looking at in the camera if you're looking at the video because the camera's catching the trees going by it tends to add a little more excitement than maybe there really is so I don't know exactly how to quantify this but the car just feels more planted to me I think I said that in one of the comments after I post the video, when I put the uh, right after putting the tires and wheels on the car, uh, what does that mean? Maybe it has to do with uh, lower sidewall, uh, less sidewall, thinner sidewall. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe something with the uh, center of gravity of the wheels. Maybe being a, these the offset on these is correct. But I don't know if uh, there's a little bit of a shift, the point of inertia, if that's the right term. I don't think it is. But regardless, I thought maybe it was placebo effect when I first started driving the car after putting the wheels and tires on. But I've done it enough. I've added on some twisties. I hate those bridges. Uh, had enough twisties since then. So that there is a difference. Uh, it's 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 better. You still lean through turns more than I'd like. These cars, yeah, you know, it's very disconcerting if you come to one of these cars from something like I've had in the past, which are much higher performance sedans, more modern handling sedans, and corner very flat. Uh, first few times you go into turns through these, it's kind of like the sensation you get when you're leaning back in a chair and you almost tip over or tip over which I guess is involves that sensation right before you actually fall down so I would like to lower the center of gravity just a bit it feels enough better already that I don't feel I need to go that much further and I'm not really noticing a sacrifice in the ride of the car uh, maybe people that are more sensitive to it I like a sportier feeling tire I like or a car I mean I like feeling the road but 
you know, it's it, there's some road feel in these, even with even dead stock, which this car was. I mean, it had modern tires, but not modern size tires before I made the recent switch. Um, you know, it's it's they're not they're not like a Cadillac, or I've never had a Cadillac, but what I imagine Cadillacs to feel like on roads like this or any roads that cushy isolated feel so I, I don't feel like I've given up anything so far by changing out the wheels and tires uh, you know I haven't done any extended highway driving windows up going on a trip so and but I really I haven't done any extended highway trips uh, but I don't really have a whole lot of experience doing extended highway trips in these cars anyway, so I wouldn't have a frame of reference. Uh, you know, if you like the look of everything stock, leave it the way it is. Uh, you gain a little bit from the wheels and tires. I do like the extra meat you get in appearance, which is the primary reason I did it. And I think it will look very nice once I drop it about inch and a half. What I consider to be a period correct lowering because my driver's license considerably predates, my first driver's license considerably predates this car. Not considerably, but some. And, uh, you know, my first car, we put lowering springs on it. So, there's a big difference between lowering and slammed, although slammed is most of what you see these days. Fine if you like that. I just don't. Uh, so, what else? I, like I said, from my perspective, nothing but positives. It's just a sure-footed feeling car. Uh, it's... Like, still not a car I want to throw hard into a turret, obviously. It's not made for that. I have another car that does that. So, if you're thinking about it, I'd recommend it. And I perfectly timed this so that I could take down the cameras and drive back home. Hope you enjoyed.